Hey everyone, so some of you guys asked how to activate the fingerprint scanner on the Xperia Z5 Compact and the Xperia Z5. So I'll just give you a brief demonstration of that. Now you can see on both of these phones they both have a power button on the side and it also doubles as a fingerprint scanner. So I'll show you how to set this up using the Xperia Z5. Uh, the process is the same on both phones. So you just go into your settings. Then you're going to scroll down to security. Then you see at the top of your fingerprint manager, so click on that. And then at the bottom, get started. And then choose a screen lock. I'm just going to do pin. One, two, three, four. And this is just in case if uh, your fingerprint doesn't register, so you're able to unlock your phone with a different way. Okay, I'm going to press next here. Then got it. Alright, so all you're doing is you're placing your finger multiple times on the scanner. Just so it registers uh, multiple fingerprints. And it's best to reposition your finger a little each time you do this. Let's get more fingerprints scanned. Just filling up this circle at the bottom here. Okay, it's pretty simple to set up. Let's give you a demonstration of this. So you're just going to tap on it and then that's it. You can see it's pretty effective. And I'll show you, you can also set up another fingerprint if you want. Just go back into your settings. And then go to security. Same place, fingerprint manager. And you see at the top here, you can register another fingerprint. So you're just going to verify your identity. You can just use your fingerprint here. And then you're just doing the same thing, but in this case, you can do your pointer finger, for example. So, yeah, guys, um, when I've been using it, it's very effective. I'd say it works at least 99% of the time or so. Hey everyone, so I wanted to give you a more in-depth demonstration on how the fingerprint scanner works. So as I said earlier, you're simply tapping on the button on the fingerprint scanner, and then after you tap on it, you're going to keep your finger on it, but you're not going to be holding down on it. You're simply going to be keeping your finger placed on the scanner. So I'll give you a demonstration of this. So you're going to tap on it, keep your finger on the scanner, and that's it. Not holding down on it, just keeping it placed on the scanner. As I said earlier, it's very effective works I'd say at least 99% of the time. See so you guys thanks for watching and if you have any other questions or comments please let me know in the comment section below.